activating security scan. So what did these ones die of, Savage? A complete neurological breakdown, from the looks of it. Organ collapse, nerve degradation. Find him. There's been some trouble on the base. My man will take care of it. You were saying? We may be looking at serious cross-systemic failure issues with the OCM. It's those god-awful implants, Gary. The whole inhumane procedure. After a while, it just burns them out. Has this been happening at the other sites? We've experienced some die-off, yes. But I've been told Dr. Reed's research may offer a breakthrough. If we could bring her back here... That's not going to happen. Then we need to start considering other options. A nanotech-based solution performed on willing volunteers. And are you volunteering yourself, Doctor? Tiffany, please. I need to look at the raw data, Commander. If you would. I turned a blind eye to your little office romance, Savage. But if she becomes a problem, she will be volunteering. Keitner. I found out what Burke's been concealing. The interrogation wing is some kind of medical testing facility. He's using the prisoners as lab rats. For what? Not sure. I'll need Burke's retinal scan data to find out. I can't download that without setting off a million alarms. However, you still have that retinal prosthesis just over in his office? If you're suggesting I use it to fool a retinal scanner, it won't work. The eye synthetic tissue spike needs to be connected to a real optic nerve. Otherwise, it just reads as metal. I know. That's why you need to take it to Quinn. I'll tell him to expect you. Keitner out. Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access. 
granted. Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access. Granted. Hello. I heard you. I saw that! What are you doing?
So, what's the story? Just got off the horn with the commander. She says you got something for me to take a look at. Prosthetic eye, one of Burke's. We need it to get past the retinal scan, but it's useless like this. Aye, without an active neural connection, it might as well be an expensive paperweight. <laughs> may as well put a golf stopper in front of the scanner for all the good that thing will do you. Solutions, Quinn. Think you can handle this? Lad, I may be just a mechanic, but I'm also the only thing keeping this whole bleeding facility from sinking into the abyss. Think I can manage a simple optic frequency bypass. Just let me get me tools. Right. So that's it now. You got the eye. Sorry it took a little longer than I expected. Nearly break the damn thing once or twice. New TYM firmware and such. Now don't go fucking around with that. It's only got a limited lifespan due to the temp power source I rigged. It's only good for one use. Got it? This is pretty impressive work for a mechanic, Quinn. What's that supposed to mean? There's more to old Quinn than meets the eye. No pun intended. He wouldn't be the first fool to underestimate my know-how. Well, there's more to this job than just a simple battery swap. I saw you modifying the BIOS. This is state-of-the-art hardware and software. You're not just a mechanic. You're a hacker. What are you going on about now? Ain't nothing you couldn't pull off with a degree in computer engineering and a little elbow grease. Come off it now. We ain't got time for this. Is it supposed to be moving? Aye. Bloody creepy, that is. Try not to pay it any mind now. Thing's stuck in calibration mode. Trick is, I got it thinking it's plugged into a new host. And by rewriting the system diagnostic checks, it'll keep trying to connect without detecting anything the mist, which in turn keeps it alive in a manner of speaking. Fucking brilliant piece of engineering work if I don't just myself. Why only one use? Without being hooked up to a proper battery, like your brain. The voltage spike from a single scan will trip the surge protectors, shutting it down to prevent further transmissions. It's a redundant safety mechanism built into the optic nerve to prevent frying your noggin in a dorsal ventral feedback loop. Short of putting the thing in your own head, which I ain't exactly equipped to do, there's no way around it. Besides, I think the commander preferred this way. Well, hopefully this thing works. It'll work just dandy so long as you don't do something stupid like drop it. And it ain't a bloody webcam. So don't try using it to spy the knickers up someone's skirt. No money back guarantee or warranty. You break it, you buy it. Satisfaction guaranteed. Unless, of course, you fuck it up yourself. Right. So, what's the story? No money back guarantee or warranty. You break it, you buy it. for shopping at Quinn Mart. Well, if it ain't my favorite and currently only nope. No 
refunds. Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access. Granted. Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access. Granted. Jensen, it's Keitner. Where are you? In a well-concealed elevator inside the prison's restricted wing. Your gun-running neural engineer deserves a raise. I take it the eye worked then. Good. Now listen, if what you say is true, if Burke really is using the prisoners here as lab rats, I need proof. Hard evidence that I can take to Interpol. An entire prison full of kidnapped civilians isn't enough? You're an ex-cop, Jensen. You tell me. How many death row inmates crying on about their innocence have you seen getting out? Point taken. I'll see what I can find.
Please, please don't leave me like this. No hope. Quite the house of horrors you got here, Doc. You letting anyone in, or just women? Who are you? How'd you get down here? This is a restricted area. Obviously. You wouldn't want the rank and file knowing what kind of sick experimentation is going on down here. No, you, you don't understand. I'm not... Where's Burke? And your research partner, Savage? B Burke went back up to the base. And Gary... Gary left. Told me to be smart, keep my mouth shut, and do whatever Burke tells me to do. For now. For now? I heard the three of you talking up there in the morgue. Sounded like you don't exactly fit in here, Dr. Uh... Kavanagh. And who the fuck are you? The name's Jensen. I came here looking for someone. Megan Reed. Reed? Uh, I've seen her research. Gary thinks it could be the key we're missing. If she can be convinced to come here. Megan Reed was kidnapped, Kavanaugh. Violently. As was her entire scientific team and the dozens of women you've been torturing down here. No! You, you don't understand. I'm trying to save them. Gary and I, we were sent here to put the OCM project back on track. It wasn't until we got here that we realized what that meant. And by then, by then it was too late. OCM. Savage used that term in the morgue. What does it mean? Organic Computational Matrix. It's a means of cross-connecting living brain tissue and artificial intelligence systems to create a supercomputer of unparalleled capability. Part flesh, part silicon. That's what you're doing down here, turning prisoners into computer parts. Human brain activity has to be integrated with the technology, or else it won't work. Even DARPA knew that. You seem to think Megan's research is integral to salvaging this project of yours. Why? It's not my project. Had I known before I came here... Right, just answer the question. <sighs> We're experiencing cross-systemic failures with the tech. Over time, subjects implanted with OCM augmentations suffer complete neurological breakdown. They... they pretty much burn up from the inside. Gary thinks it's a problem with the acceptance of the P-dot array. I've heard that phrase before. It's the building block of modern neuro-augmentations. Dr. Reed's been reshaping it, changing the way it bonds with living tissue. The mutagenic gene combination she's introduced into it, well, frankly, it's astonishing. Enough to warrant her kidnapping? So she'd be forced to work on this project with you? She's not on this project. I don't know what she's doing or where she is. This is the first time anyone's ever mentioned kidnapping. Just how many prisoners are being wired into this thing? I... I don't know. But a lot of them don't seem to survive for more than a year. I've told the others there's no way this project can stay viable with these kinds of numbers. But the OCM computers have to have them to work. Computers? You mean there's more than one of them? There's... several. This is just where the process starts. The factory floor. We select the candidates here, implant them, and ship them to the other locations. It's all very efficient. Yeah, except your candidates keep dying. What does DARPA have to do with this? Nothing. Not... directly. 
In 2007, they started looking for research partners to help develop an artificial cognitive science program that could increase a soldier's situational awareness in the field. A number of private sector companies submitted proposals. Bell Tower being one of them? No. Bell Tower was a private military corporation. DARPA wanted researchers. But one of the companies who did submit something was a biotech corporation that deals with Bell Tower. And they believed a successful program could be designed if it could be wired directly into the soldiers' brains. DARPA wasn't willing to go that far. So this biotech company took the idea to Bell Tower? A corporation that, being privately funded, doesn't have to concern itself with political or ethical debate. You're really gonna stand there and try to justify your role in this, aren't you? People are being enslaved, Kavanaugh. Enslaved and crucified. It, it wasn't like that at first. I thought we were gonna make a difference, do something incredible for the world. Right. And look how incredible it turned out to be. But you can still make a difference, Doctor. You can help me blow the lid off this place. Are you insane? I, I can't. There's too much money invested in this. Burke, the people I work for, they'll kill me. They'll hunt me down and kill me. I know people who can protect you, hide you. Interpol is just waiting for evidence to tear Bell Tower apart. It's not just Bell Tower. Oh, God. Oh, God, am I really going to do this? <laughs> you... You can't get me out through the prison. Burke would stop us. Then we'll have to do what Savage did. Take a submersible. We can't. The hatches to all the docking hangers are locked tight. The only way to unlock them is by using the security console in the prison command tower. But keeps an eye on us that way. Then I'll have to go back up there and unlock it. Well, you gather as much evidence as you can carry. Oh my god. I'm really gonna do this. Damn right you are. Now get moving. I'll contact you when I unlock the hatch. Alright. Fine. But Mr. Jensen, please, hurry.